Hey guys, it's Tanae for the 680, and I'm here to record a video. Um, I've been super busy all summer. I go to college, nah, not next week, the week after. So I have 10 days. Um, I'm actually going on vacation starting this Friday, and then we'll come back from vacation the Friday after, and then I go straight up to Penn State the set the day after we come back from vacation. So, um, I'm about to go to the mall with my friends, so I just figured I would film a Getting Ready With Me video. Um, all my makeup is pretty much packed up, so I'm just going to um, use whatever I had out for vacation. So, first I'm going to use this, um, this NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I got a sample size of it at Sephora the other day. And so far, I really like it. Um, it's good with, I have really, really oily skin, and it's really good with mattifying your face. But since my face is really oily, it can't control all the oils. But so far, I really like the, um, I like the color. It doesn't feel like anything is on my face, and it stays on all day. So I'm just going to dot that on my face, and I'm using my mirror from my Clinique palette. Okay, I don't know if you can see my little dotty dots. Yeah. Now I'm just going to blend those in with my hands. My hands are clean. I just washed them. I don't really like the smell too much, but the smell goes away, like, right after you wear it for a few minutes, so I'm fine with that. Make sure I blend it down my neck because you do not want to be one of those girls who walks around with the most obvious foundation line of life. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to set this with my, um, my Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep from MAC. And I'm using this Equal Tools Mineral Brush. And I like to pat it in my face instead of just swiping it around. Because I find that the powder sticks better if I pat it on, especially on my forehead and my T-zone. Okay, so now I'm going to use, ew, sorry, having technical difficulties. I'm going to use these two, sorry, these two eyeshadows. It's like a champagne -y color and then like a plummy purpley color. So I'm going to use those for my look today. First, of course, I'm going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. 
And right now, um, well, when I get to Penn State, I'm going to start trying out their, um, I don't know what it's called, but I bought the mattified version, I guess. And I tried it out yesterday, and it worked really well, especially under matte eyeshadows. It looks really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to take the champagne color. No, I'm not. I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take my mineralized skin finish again and load my brush up with it. Just another Equals Tools brush. And I'm going to load my brush up with that. And I'm going to pack that all over the lid. Okay, so once that's on my lid, I'm going to take the champagne color, and I'm going to put that in my tear duct. I don't even know if you can see it. But, yeah. Now I'm going to take this Equal Tools blending brush. And I'm going to take a little dab of the purples. Just a little bit. You probably can't even see it on the brush. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to put that in my crease, lightly. Oh, and guys, if you have any requests for me, please leave them below, like any um, back to school videos you wanted to see, anything like that, just any kind of requests, leave them below, please and thank you. Okay, I'm going to go back with the champagne color and put that back in my tear duct. Oh yeah, and if you can hear my TV, don't ask. Um, I woke up and it was on PBS Kids, so yeah. And then I'm going to take that same champagne color and I'm going to apply that as my, wait, let me do my brows first. Um, for my eyebrows, I use this Sonia Kashuk palette thingy majigger. There you go. And I use that color right there. So I'm just going to comb it out with this MAC Special Edition spoolie thingy majigger. And then I use hairspray as my brow set for now because I don't have any more brow set. So I'm just going to use my hairspray. And it actually works really well. So. Yeah. Okay. And the reason I do this before I fill in my brows is just because my brows are really thick and they have a tendency to move when I fill them in, so I don't want them to move. So now I'm going to start to fill them in. And I don't fill in too much because my brows are already pretty dark. So, that's one brow done. My mom doesn't really like that I fill in my eyebrows, but I like it. It gives a really nice, bold, and full look. So, yeah. That's my brows all filled in. And then I go back in with my spoolie, just to make sure they don't look blah and fakely. 
Fake leaves not a word, but we're going to use it today. So after that, um, now I'm going to do my highlight with that champagne color. And I like to put it right underneath my brow bone. And then I blend it out. And this is just a really simple look because, like I said, most of my makeup is already packed up. I'm really, I can't say I'm scared to go to college. I'm not scared. I'm just nervous, I guess. My roommates are really nice, though, so I can't wait to get up there. But for now, I'm just nervous about leaving my family and all that good stuff. So, anyway, um, I'm going to use my 1x1 one one Volume Express Mascara. It's not the best mascara I've tried. I like the falsies better, but that one is packed up right now. So I'm just going to use this one because it's out for my vacation. And this is the waterproof formulation. Alright, and then I'm going to do one more coat. Okay. So that's my eyeshadow and my eye look all done. I'm going to apply this CoverGirl eyeliner. Like I said, not the best, but that's the only eyeliner I have that's not packed up right now. And I just sort of drag it along the lash line just to thicken up my lashes. And I'm not going to go on my lower lash line because my eye was twitching all this week. But, um, anyways, I'm going to stop this part of the video here and then the next part will be my lips and my cheek products and an outfit of the day. So, I'll see you all in the flash. Bye!